So here's a classic scenario I get phone calls about, I get questions about, what should I do? Am I screwed? Where can I get them from? I mean, just a lot of different things that people just kind of, I guess, overthink or panic about, which in this case, you shouldn't. The M.2 screws. So when you buy your motherboard, it comes with a little mount and the screw for it. And a lot of times if people don't decide to use it, what they'll do is they'll leave it in the motherboard box or they'll throw away the screw as if you see it's really small and easy to lose and they forget about it. They mount their SSD, mechanical drive, they're good to go. And then they say, hey, I wanna go with something faster and newer now that I have more money to spend. And they don't have this, they've lost it. Now, in another video I did, I gave the advice. If you have it, just mount it in there, leave it on standby, you're good to go. But what if you didn't do that? What are your options? Option number one, you could get on Amazon. You can order these. They're only like a couple of bucks. I think they come in like a five or 10 pack, which I mean, that's good to have on standby. But what if you need your computer now or you don't have access to Amazon or I mean, what do you do if that's not even an option for you? Well, here's an option. And a perfect example is this little M.2 that I have. It's PCI Gen 3, works fantastic, works fast, but I don't have a computer that this fits in. I could wait for an Office OEM one or a laptop one, but I'd rather utilize this for my test bench and I think it'd be more beneficial. Now the tape on it is just so I don't drop it because I have butterfingers lately. So what can I do with this and will it work? Honestly, just pop it in. Turn your computer on. Wait for it to boot into Windows. As you can see, it's loading. And look, we're in Windows just as fast and this thing is running like it should. Now, just so you can kind of see, no SSDs, no M.2s, no magic trickery behind it. Yeah, just plug it in and it works fine. In fact, I mean, look, we could dance on it. And let's still load up open office and everything's working as it should. Yeah, so do you need the screw for it? It's preferred as you want to have it secured, but you don't need it if you're in a pinch and you just want to get your computer up and running or just test it until you order that piece. Now, as you can see, it's kind of mounted in a weird angle, but when it slides in, it's still making contact with the pins and it's still doing what it's supposed to do. And usually when you have the mount, it puts it down and just kind of holds it in place. But I mean, other than that, like I said, it's loading and it's working without issues. So this is an option, just pop it in, run it, use it as a temporary means for solution. Another p thing that I've seen people do is take, take some rubber pieces, maybe a little electrical. T I mean, I've seen some really ghetto ways that people have done it, but I've done this in a pinch and it works fine. Now, ultimately, like I said, you wanna screw it down in the sense that if this thing gets knocked over, your computer gets knocked over pretty hard, it could come loose, but I actually have had a computer where I left it like that for a long period of time, forgot that I even did that, knocked it over, moved it, and I never had an issue with that thing coming loose. I mean, if you think about it, it's pretty snug in there. So now some may be saying, well, yours is laying down flat. All right, so let's kind of do this sketchily. See if we can get you in. M.2 is still right there. It's moving. Let's turn it on. This is really sketchy. And let's see if my computer still boots up. And this is typically how most people's computers are gonna be, just kind of this setup. It's acknowledging. And we are booted, we are into Windows. And as you can see, everything is working fine. If you could put your computer on top of your desk or in a location that's not gonna get knocked around, this thing will hold and this thing will last. So just food for thought. So just wanted to do this quick video to kind of give you an option and let you know that you can run your computer without that screw. It's not the end of the world. Would I do it long-term? 
actually I have I actually have one computer that I'm actually running it that way but that's another story um, yes and no but at least it'll buy you time until you pick it up on Amazon or locate it any other way so hope this video helped thanks for watching comment down below let me know your thoughts criticism concerns if you like this video definitely hit the like button subscribe if you're not and as always we'll see what we come up with next